Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right. So hi everyone. Hi. 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 So yeah, here's uh, there's a uh, two PHP echo statements here, which both of them the f the first one might look a little bit weird, but both of them work fine. So here today, uh, my uh, <coughs> let me just do a very quick introduction about myself. Name is Huiren. Hey, I'm a Fedora and Open Organization ambassador. I'm also a Red Hat developer contributor. So I write about blogs. I, I technical evangelist essentially. So uh, yeah, all of this is all on a voluntary op open source basis. Yeah. So yeah, the open manage the open organization book inspired me to do a lot of things for open source communities as well. So you might want to give it a read as well. Pretty nice book. So. The agenda for today, for me, speaking about PHP, migrating to PHP 5, migrat migrating from PHP 5 to 7, is so the agenda is the, so we're going to take a look at the buzzword first design. So you guys heard of buzzwords before? Yes, yes, yes. Great. So the, uh, followed by three very simple checking. Check yourself, check your codes, check your systems. Very simple, right? So buzzword first design. Uh, so I've designed my slides according to the latest buzzwords floating around in the technology space. So the things like award-winning, microservices, innovative, cloud, robust, future-proof. Yeah, this all these kind of buzzwords you'll see in the following slides. Uh, try to spot them. All right. So first thing is check yourself. So you've got to check your knowledge. Uh, make sure you're updated to the latest. PHP 7 stuff. So don't don't bother reading a change log. There's a lot of information there. So look at the guide, the official PHP 7 guide on how to migrate from PHP 5.6 to 7.0. So on the guide itself, it tells you about a lot of things about the functions and the things that are being removed, how the syn how the variables are being handled now. So there's a little bit of change. So now they are using abstract syntax tree for the handling the variables. So if you type your variables in certain ways, it won't work anymore. So got to check that if you are doing or object oriented programming. So got to check that. Yeah, so there's also some interesting, very interesting operators being added as well. There's a very weird one which is a which is a Yes, 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 that one. It's a very weird operator which I found pretty interesting. You guys should take a look at that as well. So next thing is to check your codes. So uh, look at the affected functions you have in your current code. So you do a very, very quick look through all your codes. Okay, look through your codes. Yes, look through your codes. Make sure your code is robust and future-proof. Yes. So, <laughs> and look out for the microservices and dependencies. You know, you don't want your left pad to be. <laughs> you gotta make sure your left pad is. <laughs> <laughs> PHP 7 ready, right? You gotta make sure. And have you checked your composer.json file? Check if the dependencies are actually available, are, are really PHP 7 ready. Some, sometimes they are just completely doesn't work on PHP 7 because the person who wrote the microservices or the dependency decided that it's not really important to update my code. Things like that happens. So make sure you check that before you hit the upgrade button. How do, you, how do you check? Just like PHP minus L or something? Uh, so you have to read the P the dependencies. So look tr look at the dependencies. Look at their su latest support. So essentially, look at their documentation. Yeah, that's the best bet you have. I'm to not, I'm not a computer. I'm just a man. So you 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 gotta you gotta try try to try to trust their so their. <laughs> Their GitHub repo, which says, "Oh, uh, build is failing on PHP 7.0, or build a successful build on this and that." So that means people have to use. Does everyone use like uh, some CI? Or Travis, uh, things like that. Yeah, the cool kids use that. Yeah, the cool kids use that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was using <laughs> that back in. Yeah, it's it's a it's a cloud, so it's future ready, right? Yeah. So. Uh, test them out. There's se several ways which you can test out your code. So unit testing is one of them. Or uh, personally, I do a OpenShift. So OpenShift plus PHP unit. PHP unit is a 
way to test out your codes and stuff like that. So you've got to bootstrap your code with whatever functions you need and then test it out. Hit the enter space and bam, your code is get tested. Or you want to do it a cool kids way, you can tr use Travis. Have you guys done Travis before? No, nobody used Travis. Yay, two cool kids here, three in total. Yeah. So, and finally, important question, does everything works in the cloud? So you've got to make sure your code works in the cloud, right? So, uh, so make sure your code uh, really works across your infrastructure itself. And really deploy it the best way, the safest way, which would be to op fire up an OpenShift in uh, any instances or cloud instances or whatever instances. Install PHP 7 on it and then give it a try. Look out for like uh, 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 blank pages and things like that. So be careful of this kind of stuff like, oh, the code works on the laptop. Let's deploy the laptop to production. You don't do that, right? So let, uh, you got to tr always try to keep a lookout for things like blank pages as well. It's, blank pages is a very good sign which your code doesn't work on PHP 7. So you got to read through the error logs. And this probably might take hours if all your codes are not using Laravel or or Zen or whatsoever. But if you are using frameworks and things like that, they probably have it handled unless the code you know, controller isn't PHP 7 ready yet. So you got to check for that as well. Take a look. Yeah, so use, make, make full use of PHP unit testing and also Travis if you know how to use. So last thing is you, you got to check is uh, check your codes. So get ready for things to break. Uh, check your system, sorry. Check your system, get ready for things to break, essentially. So things would break, especially in production. So when you sometimes, you know, Murphy's Law, you deploy it on a testing, testing deployment infrastructure. It works there. When, when you deploy it pr to production, it doesn't work. So uh, beware of software that in yours. So like uh, one of the issues that I've encountered before is RoundCube. So RoundCube is a PHP mails GUI software. So I, I was running a older version of RoundCube. And when I upgraded to PHP 7 beta, it just didn't work. OK, it just completely broke. But all my other software, work, uh, the codes that I wrote was, were all working fine. Because uh, of course, I'm a cloud-ready guy. So, uh, so, but the thing is, look out for all the software. You really want to look at every single software, look at their documentation, read up on their documentation, really want to ensure that it really works on PHP 7. Because although it, it might sound like PHP 5 to 7 is a very easy kind of no-kick kind of upgrade, but there are always some things that you got to look out for. So be wary. Again, do your unit testing, do your Travis, whatever. Check through them thoroughly, OK? So yeah, so this is kind of the codes that I've used to uh, deploy the infrastructure. Yes, I made use of readme, readme repositories. You guys heard of readme repositories before? Readme? readme? Yeah. Anyone? Re is, how is it pronounced? R-E-M-I. Oh. <laughs> So Remy is a, is a repository. So it, it's, it's basically very cutting edge and up to date. It's a very up to date repository where you can get the very, you know, the updated codes and updated software. So oh, during. Like, uh, Arch Linux, for example. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, probably like Arch Linux, but it's a repositories for, it has support for Fedora, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, SandOS, Debian, Ubuntu, things like that. So it was, it's just a few commands away. So like apt-get, uh, apt-get install the whatever, and then apt-get update, and you're done. That's a very quick way of installing, updating yourself to PHP 7. So uh, any one of you try PHP 7 yet? One. Wow. Okay. Okay. It made it sound so scary. It's like all oh, my stuff is gonna break. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
yeah, that that, sin, that line of code would would break. Okay. Yeah, s okay. uh, some be some people might. Uh, okay. Isn't there a PHP seven developer here? Wasn't it? Oh. Okay, well, <laughs> I should have brought the gun with me. Whoa! <laughs> no, wait, but isn't it a bit silly that a software has makes it difficult to upgrade? It's usually good software makes it like really easy. Yeah, it's easy if you have keep your code updated. <laughs> yes, uh, but the, the a big lie? problem. <laughs> <laughs> I I thought you guys were using some form of agile methodology or Scrum or. But even even if you use agile, doesn't mean you have to like jump hoops while using a program. But that's the that is purpose of semantic versioning. So like PHP five to seven is uh, is. Uh, major major yeah. version, so you have, you have to expect it. Uh, PHP seven over five point six has a two four increase in performance. Mm -hmm. So I feel that it is a worthwhile increase to like keep on code I'm sure about that. Yeah. What about the semantic versioning of C C eighty nine C ninety nine? <laughs> but the thing is that for PHP compared to C is really like apples to orange because. PHP has this uh, legacy issue where I mean spaces this kind of stuff is mm -hmm. not properly synthesis. Uh, not well loved for very uh, hardcore programmers because of the way it's being structured. So if they want to make a big improvement, so I'm sorry about the doing like a the the doing a Python, Java, yeah. Python three, that's that's not gonna roll out, is it now? Mm -hmm. They're doing an IPv6. I mean, moving from version to version in terms of the, the, the major version has always been difficult. Right? Only in shitty software. No. In, in and no, only in shitty software. In. Enterprise. <laughs> 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 I mean, most. Uh, enterprise. Uh, don't use enterprise. <laughs> to fence with me. Okay. I suppose it's like how it's like PHP cares about all of the, the, the shitty code you wrote back in the day, but C doesn't. So PHP what what's the first thing to change, I guess? Uh, I guess they are trying to actually narrow down the camera. They don't do a feature of big tank anymore. Okay. Yeah. You all do know why is why we skip six right? Because someone did the brunch. Issue, no uh, yeah. uh, they skipped version six because it failed. It didn't. It didn't. It, they, they had too too many too much problems with UTF or something. Sixteen more. That was one of the issues. Yeah, there were there were a lot of issues which they couldn't resolve properly with version six. But the features that they were trying to deliver in version six was backported back into uh, five point three, five point four, five point five. So what you were already using uh, five point. 5.5 or onwards, we are already using some features that was originally meant to go out in 6. Uh, so in version 7, you probably have to. Uh, oh, darn. Yeah. They uh, break I something. One thing you can try is turn on in your whatever version you are using now, there is uh, in the uh, error logs, there is one, uh, one layer, one, one error level called deprecated. <coughs> turn, on the, turn on that error log for deprecated, it should tell you a little bit more, give you more information about what needs to be changed. Uh, it would make your locks a bit more noisy, but it does get help you prepare. Um, it's, it's advisable to have yeah. like a separate, just one instance if you're using, dealing with legacy code. Uh, it's just like one instance of, of it running, you, you try version by version, keep moving up, with, uh, up uh, one level by one level, instead of jumping straight to seven. That's another approach you can take. Um, another way you can, can take this is write some tests. So can I work if let's say my code is already five point six, then the next level is seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you've already your code is already works on five point six, chances are you mm. wouldn't break so badly. Mm. Mm. Like mm. 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 Great to go land. Mm. Yeah. Or if it's too hard, you can move to shell scripts like what you do. Shell scripts are fast. I mean, moving on major versions that is not an easy. Job. Even in Python, it's still That's another example of a really yeah. shitty upgrade. <laughs> um, uh, also, for example, sometimes we, a popular language becomes a 
um, you can become victim of our success yes. because yes, it's so popular. People are already using the the latest version, and when it gets and, and you build systems with the system, with the with the, with the whatever version as the, as the latest at the time, right? There are companies out there that still, for example, in the Rails world. If right now it's Rails four moving to Rails five. There's still companies out there using Rails two, right? We have production companies like GitHub. <laughs> you, see, you see using Rails too, right? So, um, yeah, it's not a, it's not a unique problem that, that is faced by. You are working on a greenfield project, totally new. Go ahead, build it out with, with uh, PHP seven, right? One another way you could take another approach you could take is build microservices. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. So yeah, pretty much that's. Uh, about it, so very simple. If you nowadays, uh, the the popular thing would be to use uh, frameworks and things like that, and it's pretty much a good move if you are doing big, bulky software that is enterprise. So like le you use things like Laravel, Zen framework, Symfony, Cake PHP, or whatsoever. These frameworks are you like what I said earlier on. PHP, or they, are, they have to be ready for the next version of the PHP so that developers can continue working on their project. And that's about it. Uh, any questions or any award-winning left pad jokes you guys want to share? Any questions? No. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> OK. Uh, um, does someone like? Put these stickers on you or something? Uh, yeah. Uh, those are, that happened in Force Asia, so uh, a few of my friends helped me put like Fedora DVDs onto my body. What's the DVD? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 thank you very much. Alright, thank you. Very much.